I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. I'm going to show them a world without you. A world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. Hey guys, James here from Hackathon, and uh, today we're gonna continue with our bug bounty hunting series. And today we're gonna look ahead and look at uh, cross site scripting reflected post uh, uh, exploits. And I'm gonna go ahead and start with low and then to medium and then to high. Uh, well, low is pretty easy, uh, a simple payload will go and do, for example, let's say uh, James here. And let's say script. Just this. Let's say this one. Let's make this simple. And here we go. We have this thing. Now I will explain the code to you as well as I as I go through why this is happening. But let's try another payload. Uh, let's say uh, James and uh, a, a simple HTML tag. You'll see that the HTML tag will also get uh, executed because uh, anything that will uh, parse JavaScript will go ahead and parse it, uh, HTML as well. So if you see here, hey, welcome, James, bye. Right? Alrighty. So uh, let's move on to uh, medium and set this on medium here. Okay, so we've gone and set that to medium here, and let's go ahead and do uh, the same payload, the previous payload that we went ahead, and let's see what we get. Uh, we get this. Uh, I I'll show you the reason why we're getting this because the XXS, uh, I'm sorry, the XSS uh, filter is set to uh, 4. And uh, for some reason, uh, the four would not go ahead and uh, pa rather you know do any kind of sanitization when it comes to HTML blocks and with JavaScript blocks as well. So in this particular case, you can go ahead and say let's say James, and you can go and use a script 0.0, .0 like uh, script alert uh, zero, and then script ten hit go. And as you can see, I'm getting zero here. So uh, why is this uh, so? Like, why is it on ahead and uh, set to uh, such simple level? You might ask that. Now let me just go and show you another payload that you can actually use a few more payloads. For example, this particular payload, like the image source equals to anything, and then on error. And then an alert, and I'll just go and put the same thing here. Uh, so I'll just hit this, and there we go. We have got that particular error. And as we have got no images here, or uh, it will go ahead and show me a couple of thumbnails, as you can see here. Welcome, bear that in mind. So uh, if I go ahead and do, uh, let's say this once again. one as expected one again as expected right now let's go ahead and have a look at the codes and uh let's see why it's taking uh you know uh these simple uh, codes or rather these simple payloads and then i'll go ahead and show you a few uh, advanced payloads that you can use to exploit uh certain uh, portals uh, where you might get these kind of uh, vulnerabilities uh, and those would be a bit more advanced like those would be ajax based uh, that can be used to go ahead and compromise uh, uh, bwrap on medium but on a high it's not possible to go ahead and uh, or rather at least I am not aware of and I'm pretty sure that none of these people out there are, are actually aware of because the technology itself you know negates the fa fact that it can be compromised because it's 
first of all HTML special character and then it's like encoded so uh, it, it's almost impossible to go and break that but let me just go and show you the code first all right so uh, if I go ahead and go to this folder here and let me see I have got XSS post so I'll just open that up and if I go ahead and see case one uh, case zero is like default no check case one is like XSS check four and case two is XSS check three now these are the most important parts like as I have shown you previously XSS check three is like the highest level of sanitization that one can get so these, as I've told you, are pre present in like uh, function external.php. So let me just open a functional external PHP and show you real quickly what I'm talking about. So uh, in this particular scenario, guys, uh, ta -ta -ta, let's have a look. Yeah, there we go. Uh, check one. Check one would go ahead and do a string replacement. So any kind of uh, let me just go and explain this to you so that you can go ahead and do this by yourself uh, when you come across check one uh, you can do a URL sanitization like URL sanitize I'm sorry URL encoding like if you go ahead and uh, encode the payload uh, using any online encoder URL encoder you would be getting the results for example, like if this was set on che check one, let's say if it was, if it was set on check one, then uh, you know uh, URL encoding would have worked. Uh, in case like if you have checked out my previous videos in HTML uh, reflected and HTML blog, I have gone ahead and used URL encoding to compromise those systems and inject iframes as well with URL encode payloads uh, like moving on now XSS check 2 it will go ahead and convert everything to HTML entities special characters now the toughest one would be this and this one is set on XSS uh, or rather the height when it's set on the security level high this this particular sanitizer is set and this is like an industry level sanitizer it it it's basically used in most of the industries uh, to go ahead and prevent cross-site scripting uh, exploits uh, like uh, as you've seen like if we go ahead and uh, you know uh, Scan a particular URL uh, with virus total, you see that there is an XSS protector uh, tag there. That means that you know uh, there are some analytics that would go ahead and you know load up these scripts to go ahead and make sure that if there are any text boxes, they are the, the input is sanitized. So in this particular case, what happens is like it goes ahead and it does the HTML uh, character encoding. And then it will go ahead and do a replacement. Like if you want a JSON or an Ajax uh, payload, let's say, uh, or even a URL encoded payload. For example, uh, if you see uh, check one, this particular one is an URL encoded. So we have got percent percentage three C. Now, if you see here, you'll see that uh, ampersand would be would become ampersand a n p, and quotes would become ampersand quote and so on. So, uh, uh this is kind of like the highest level of uh, in uh, of sanitization, and it's really really hard to go ahead and crack this. Like to the best of my knowledge, I don't think that it is possible to crack this. Like the high level of security, but then again, like you can go and prove me wrong if you want to. Uh, now coming back to XSS check four. Now, as you can see, there are actually no sanitization here. There is no sanitization here. It would just add slashes to the data and return the data. That's it.
but that's pretty much it so there is no sanitization and that is the reason why this is working like you know any kind of payload like even the simplest of payloads would be working on this particular scenario like when uh, the XSS uh, post or get has been set to medium even the simplest payloads would work because BWAP has been uh, you know uh, gone ahead and uh, created in such a way that uh, the XSS filter for medium is always in check 4 and check 4 has no validation check 4 has no sanitization so uh, any payload would work so for example let me just go and put some JSON payloads here uh, JSON and Ajax payload a bit more complicated one and uh, let's see what happens right right so let me just go ahead and do something right so uh, I'm set on medium here as you can see on our uh, XSS reflected uh, so let me just go ahead and put uh, this particular payload let's say image source this and image source this uh, say I am yeah this there you go now let's put this SVG on load alert SVG on load alert alert 2 let's make this alert 2 right so let's go ahead and fire this up alert 2 alert 1 now you might be asking me why alert 2 is executing first and then alert 1 that's a very valid question uh, that's because it's being passed in the reverse manner so if I go ahead and let's say go and just put this uh, as alert 1 here and alert 2 here it would go ahead and pass the second one first and then it will go and pass the first one but in case we go and put the first name and last name it will go ahead and show it will pass it the same way but the reflection on the screen would become different so uh, if I go ahead and do this and say change here and uh, my middle name Max here I will get something like this uh, I'll get two and then one and then james max here so let me show you so i get two here first and then i get one here and then welcome and well for some reason it did not go ahead and reflect the name but uh, i can just go and show you that james max there you go and it's set to medium here so uh, the passing happens in the reverse manner uh, you have to keep that in mind and that's something that happens with most of the uh, you know uh, uh, with most of the portals uh, that is also something that's very important that you have to keep, keep in mind like the passing happens with the last variable that is being passed and then it moves on to the top and then it goes ahead and reflects it back in a FIFA manner, first in first out manner. So uh, the first one, I'm sorry, uh, last in first out. So the last one that was in, that's the la uh, that's this one, would be uh, reflected first. Are you getting the point? Let me just go and uh, uh, show this again. So if I go ahead and do this, let's say. Uh, that uh, yeah this and let's say this so I get one I get one right now if I go ahead and make this one and if I go ahead and make this two or for that matter three I'll get three first and then I'll get two on medium. So I get three here. 
and then two. I, I'm sorry, one. That's because it's uh, the passing happens in the normal manner, the data is passed in, but the reflection in any scenario would be lethal. So the last data that's passed would be reflected the fast on the, the first uh, in the first column or in the first row and so on and so forth. And the third level, well, I don't think that it's possible with I've tried with a lot of payloads and it was not possible to go ahead and uh, crack the third level, so I would not actually go and try that. Uh, but then again, for the sake of giggles, let me just go ahead and set this to high and let me go ahead and do this. And I would be going ahead and getting nothing. You would be seeing that. I would be going ahead and getting the same thing reflected back here. There you go. So it's going ahead and taking off everything, like all the tags. I can easily go ahead and, uh, you know, encode this. Let's say URL encoder, and I will go ahead and encode this particular URL or rather this tag here. And let me just do that real fast. All right. So I've got. This thing here, let me just copy this. I'll just put this thing here and this thing here. And I'll just go and do this. I'm on high. I would go ahead and get the data. And for some reason, a plus has come in. Uh, right. Let me just go and make sure that uh, that thing is not there. And I'll just say James. And as you see, like, you know, it did not go ahead and give me the uh, cross site scripting, uh, you know, exploit, but it went ahead and just uh, passed the data. And it went ahead and reflected the data on the, on the screen. So uh, this was the concept that I was talking about, like go through the codes and understand what they're talking about. That would go ahead and tell you a lot of things about how to go ahead and defeat these kind of sanitizers. And most of these sanitizers are, are industry grade sanitizers. So you would be going ahead and learning a lot of stuff. And I'm not kidding about that. So having said that, I would be ending this particular tutorial here. I hope that this particular tutorial was helpful. Do subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification icon. And subscribe to my channel because I want to see you on my next uh, video tutorial. Alright. So having said that, have a good day, evening or night wherever you are. God bless now. Take care. Bye-bye.